today class. So basically today I will be discussing all about microtomy. Our focus today is to know how microtomy works, the parts that are used in it, and how to actually process tissue slides. Okay? So our ultimate goal in microtomy is to transform these. These are tissue blocks. And our ultimate goal again is to transform them into these tissue slides. Okay, got it? Let's start. So basically in microtomy, uh, we have different parts. We have the rotary wheel, we have the block holder, and then we have the blade holder. The blade holder holds our microton blades. The block holder obviously holds our tissue blocks. As you can see, we're placing the block there. In microtomy, it is important that you ensure that your tissue blocks are cold from the cold plate. Your blade is sharp and all the locks and knobs are secured. Okay? So let's begin cutting. So before cutting, you have to ensure that you unlock the main wheel for the rotary wheel. The lock is right here and then this is the wheel. Okay, so once you got it unlocked, you can now rotate the wheels. Let's go to the block. So you have to adjust. So that the block fits enough. Okay. So the first step in microtomy is trimming out excess tissue. So using the trimmer, we've removed excess tissue and excess paraffin wax. So once we're done with the trimming, we can move on with sectioning. So I've changed which side of the blade you're using. So now let's do sectioning. So in sectioning, unlike trimming, you have to slowly rotate the wheel instead of making it a, a real fast rotation. And then once you have a grip on one of the sections, Remember to always lock the knob when you're done. Once you have consecutive sections, you have a ribbon. Remove the ribbon slowly. And then gently place them in our tissue bag. Now you can get a slide. Cut out your chosen tissue section and then slowly but surely fish out so now you have your slide ready for staining